This brings us finally to the last part of uh, uh, the methods of manipulation, and the last one is the biggest of them all, chaos sorcery. What has been known as the Hegelian dialectic or problem reaction solution. And we're going to talk about what the Hegelian dialectic is, and we're going to see an example of how this is put into action when we analyze the 9-11 occult ritual. The Hegelian dialectic is what chaos sorcery really is, and this is um, uh, uh, a, an ideology that was uh, formulated by George Hegel, a uh, German philosopher. The Hegelian dialectic is a framework for guiding our thoughts and actions into conflicts that lead to a predetermined solution. So the solution is already predetermined before anything happens. The people who are putting this into effect want a certain outcome. This is outcome-based framework, an outcome-based framework. It's saying this must occur. This is the end result that we want, and anything else is undesirable and we will not settle for. It's going to happen this way. We just have to convince people that it has to end up happening this way. So what you do is you, it, you guide thought and action into decision making that ends up how you wanted it to begin with. This is accomplished by manipulating consciousness into circular pattern, a circular pattern of thought and action. So again, it's a manipulation of consciousness. It's ultimately about mind control. The synthetic solution to these conflicts cannot be introduced unless those being manipulated take a side that will advance the predetermined agenda. The agenda is already predetermined. We just need to create a synthetic conflict to, um, uh, to make this come into manifestation the way we have it originally planned and designed. So, this is Hegel's dialectic. And it is not so much that Hegel is an evil person in his own right. This is another perversion. How chaos sorcery is used as an example of the Hegelian dialectic is it's a modified version of this dialectic for a dark purpose, for manipulation. Uh, the researcher David Icke has called this problem reaction solution. And it's a great term for it, because it describes it perfectly. You create the problem to get a reaction, and then you offer the solution. The solution was already predetermined. But I like to call it chaos confusion opportunity, because I think it more accurately describes what the process that's taking place is really about. You want to create chaos. You need a chaotic situation created because the reaction that you're looking for is confusion not knowing what to do or how to act appropriately to the situation once confusion enters the 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 mix you have fear based consciousness so the person is willing to accept all kinds of limitations and control to go back to order and therefore, that's your opportunity to bring in your predetermined solution and get them to go along with what you originally wanted. Yeah. David Rockefeller described the Hegelian dialectic perfectly. He said, we are on the verge of global transformation. All we need is the right major crisis and the nations will accept the new world order. And it's not the light one that he's talking about. This was the major crisis that they introduced. The events of 9-11-2001 was an example of the modified Hegelian dialectic. It was an exa example of chaos sorcery. It was an occultic ritual of human sacrifice that involved three major uh, examples of occultic symbology and ideology in in the work to create the synthesis that they were looking for. And those three occult um, schools or occult um, uh, ideologies that were employed on that day, the symbolism of which was employed on that day, was Kabbalah, Tarot, and Freemasonry. 
Now, before we get into any confusion at all, I want to state emphatically that I do not believe that any of these systems are evil in and of themselves. It is how occult sciences are used, occult knowledge is used by the practitioner to what end that determines whether they're wielded for good or evil. So it is not these practices or these systems that are of knowledge that are evil in any way. They are simply knowledge and it is how they are used. Let's get that straight right off the bat. So these three systems of occult knowledge all encode within them the understanding of human psychological makeup and human consciousness. And the ritual of 9-11 is ultimately about the destruction of that knowledge and keeping the truth down, keeping our awareness down, destroying our awareness, destroying consciousness.